all of us are surrounded by things we can't see. Things that are too fast, too slow, too small, are simply invisible. National Geographic takes you on an extraordinary journey into these unseen worlds. Hi folks, today we decided to check out an Omnimax movie at the Canadian Museum of History. So, so come, come along and join in on the adventure. Hi, I'm Ken. And I'm Kat. And, and we're, we're the, the Traveling, Traveling Wildberries. The museum, as you can see in this picture, is located just across the river from Canada's Parliament, which is situated in Ottawa, the capital city of Canada. I put a website link for the museum in the description. It seems the Canadian Museum of History has had many names through its own history. The Geological Survey of Canada Display Hall from 1859, the National Museum of Canada circa 1910 to 1968, the National Museum of Man 1968 to 1986, and Canadian Museum of Civilization from 1986 to 2013. However, in October 2012, it was announced that the museum would be renamed from the Canadian Museum of Civilization to the Canadian Museum of History, with the changes having been implemented gradually over the course of several months. The museum has three permanent exhibition galleries, the Grand Hall, the First Peoples Hall, and the Canada Hall. It is also one of the only, if not the only, dual IMAX Omnimax theater in Canada. The Omnimax, or dome system, is a little different than the IMAX in that it uses a film shot with a camera equipped with a fisheye lens that squeezes a highly distorted 180 degree field of view into the 65 millimeter IMAX film. The lens is aligned below the center of the frame and most of the bottom half of the circular field falls beyond the edge of the film. The part of the field that would fall below the edge of the dome is masked. When filming, the camera is aimed upward at an angle that matches the tilt of the dome. When projected through a matching fisheye lens onto the dome like uh, the one in the museum's theater, the original panoramic view is recreated. Omnimax wraps 180 degrees horizontally, 100 degrees above the horizon, and 22 degrees below the horizon for viewers at the center of the dome. Omnimax premiered in 1973 showing Voyage to the Outer Planets produced by Graphic Films and Garden Isle by Roger Tilton Films on a double bill. IMAX has since renamed the system IMAX Dome, however some theaters continue to call it Omnimax. Omnimax theaters inhabit theme parks and North America's museums, particularly those with the scientific focus where the technical aspects of the system may be highlighted as part of the attraction. The projection room is often windowed to allow public viewing. The Omnimax dome screen may be a permanent fixture or lowered and raised as needed, such as what happens at the Canadian Museum of History, where it shares an auditorium with the standard IMAX screen. The Omnimax movie, Mysteries of the Unseen World, was very interesting. We would recommend you check it out for yourselves if you get the opportunity. So if you like the video, click the thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe so you get notified when new videos come online. See you soon, and thanks for watching.